Right, so today we are gonna talk a little bit about uh, digital tactics versus strategy. This is something that has come up as a discussion point on LinkedIn when I've been asking these kind of questions. So today I asked the question, or I said or stated that uh, making a video later today about the difference between digital strategy and tactics. What is your definition? And so we got, I, I've recognized that I can't do this anymore. I need to uh, ask the question and then let it, you know, marinate on LinkedIn for a few days. Uh, and then I follow up because the LinkedIn posts have a lot of longevity. And so I get a lot of quality, good answers later on. Uh, that I should include in these videos. But for now, I will do it this way. And then for next one, I will uh, ask a question and then I will uh, answer it a few days later uh, or try to make a video about it a few days later. So uh, the question that I had here was, uh, what's your definition of strategy and tactics? We have Jordan who answers the strategy is how you think you will do it. Tactics are how you will actually do it. Uh, and then we have Bobo who says that strategy is the enemy and tactics is the savior. Uh, then we have um, a point here from Martin. So much looking forward to this video. Hopefully it put an end to all this confusion that I encounter on a daily basis. Always in search for good metaphor to separate them. Heard tons of them. Are there any good metaphors for from game strategy and tactics in soccer? We'll see if we can come up with one during this uh, video. But yeah, probably can. So third one is here. Looking forward to it. In my world, strategy is what you do and tactics is how you do it. And so, yeah, I think we've had a few of these discussions on the other threads as well, where we talk about, you know, uh, the difference of, of strategy and tactics. And uh, it sort of boils down to this whole idea of, of strategies, uh, what and why, and then uh, tactics is moreover uh, how. And uh, I think that truth has been around for quite a while and I think most people subscribe to it, but it's the definition of within those things that, that, that we need to get to in order to actually try to separate them, if we should separate them. Maybe there should uh, be something called stractics uh, in the coming years because things are moving so fast that we cannot really uh, set a goal. We need to be iterative in that process as well. But I don't know, but for now we we sort of it feels as though we have a need to separate the two, and so why not try to define them? Uh, I've been trying to sort of figure out not only what it is, uh, but why we need it, and what makes it bad, and what makes them good. And so here is sort of my uh, definition. First of all, what is uh, strategy and tactics? Strategy is the answer to what and why we should be doing things. Tactics is the answer to how. You know, same thing as most of other people think it seems like. Uh, the second one is why we need it. Uh, strategy is needed in order to give meaning to your work, meaning if I don't know why I do something and I don't know what to do, I, you know, I don't have meaning or nor do I have direction. Uh, I maybe should answer that. So, so I don't know, you know, where to start essentially. Uh, and I don't know why I should do that instead of doing something else. So my life feels, you know, purposeless. Uh, and so tactics is needed uh, to help me do it. And so that is more of a direction of getting into the nitty gritty and, and setting some kind of, of, of uh, yardstick as to what to do first. Uh, and so that is what tactics is, is what actually will help me do it. Um, and I think that's where tacticians tend to love tactics and strategists love to to you know love uh, strategy uh, and that there seems to be some kind of conflict between them because i guess it's a matter of the motivational drivers that we have internally uh, what we find this important if we have a clear uh, idea if we have a very easy if, we, if it's very easy for us to to see abstract uh, things, I think we have a tendency to like more concrete things, uh, uh, such as tactics. But if we have a difficulty in 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 uh, holding uh, abstract things close to heart and formulating uh, those things, we see a higher value in trying to formulate those things. 
uh, may be a bit counterintuitive there, but I think that that is what sort of drives differences. We like what we actually have the most difficulty in in ourselves, and so we like to explain that to to others. Uh, and whilst doing that, we also explain it to ourselves. That's what I believe. I don't know if that is right or wrong, but that's my belief. So. What makes uh, strategy and tactics bad? Well, I believe that the largest challenge to strategy is that it's based on biases and preferences rather than facts and potential. And, you know, this is much of what Mia, you know, was writing in, in a previous thread that we had a previous discussion that was on LinkedIn. It's about the fact that you don't base your direction in your company on facts, but you base it on what you wish to be true and what you believe to be true, not on what is actually true and what you can actually do. I mean, there are so many cases where I've come in and the strategy is set out as a really ambitious plan, uh, but the market doesn't give us the opportunity to move in that direction. Users don't want to move in that direction. They don't want to change that way and they don't want to adopt those behaviors. And then when we get into the tactical phase, it's absolutely impossible to implement. Uh, but if it is based on fact, if it's based on, on the understanding of science and things like that, then it's much more easy to sort of translate that into actions. In terms of tactics, I think the biggest difficulty we have is that we don't set our, uh, we don't aim low enough. And this is something that is stolen by from like Jordan Patterson, who always talks about this in terms of self uh, improvement. Um, and, and it's so true. If we set those things uh, that we should do, if we set the goals for them too high, then we don't know where to begin. Like we know every time to use another Patterson example, like we know when we walk into the gym uh, and we're going to do bench press, we're not going to put on 400 pounds if we've never done it before. Uh, we got to put on, you know, we only take the bar the first time and then we add five kilos or what that is, like 11 pounds or something. Um, we, and then we incrementally increase as we get stronger. Now, in terms of the tactical plans that I've seen and in terms of the strategies and the ambitions in them, I mean, usually it's like, you know, you should not only have 400 pounds, but you should do like leg curls and uh, dance at the same time as you do that. And so we sometimes set our goals way too high and we don't aim low enough to sort of be able to make those incremental steps that we actually need to do. So the challenge in terms of or the problem when we make a bad strategy is usually that it's gut based and not factual based. And then when it comes to tactics is that we have set the goals too too damn high. So we end up doing absolutely nothing. We don't improve on a daily basis, but we think that we're going to become this superstar within a year, which is really, really, really difficult to implement. Um, so uh, on the contrary, then, what makes it good? Well, I believe that uh, both strategies ha and tactics have the same thing that makes them good. And it's when they are really clear on uh, uh, like the movement and the incremental improvement that we aim for. Like if they describe a movement and if they explain the incremental improvement, like what, what are we going to become, essentially? If they describe that, both tactics and and, and then how are we going to become it uh, and, and strategy in, in matter of why and what, then I think that that is the best type of strategy and tactics that we can, we can think. So that's also why I always ask these questions about what you want your consumer or your customer or your in, uh, uh, stakeholder and what do you want them to become? Like, what are, what do you, where do you see yourself in five years and in one year and in one month? That's why I like to ask those questions before starting any kind of these uh, jobs. And so even though I agree that we need facts and we need sort of um, all the things that are real around us, like opportunities and things, we need to set forth those things. We need to start the discussion earlier. It's almost like we need something before strategy, like a pre-thought kind of thing where we sort of get our minds straight as to what is possible and then we move into the, into the strategic uh, work and maybe that's what's missing and why, why strategy always becomes or so many times becomes such a useful like a useless piece of 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 uh, uh, of uh, document that lays in a drawer somewhere uh, is because we're not prepared to create a good strategy yet 
anyhow, I've spoken too long now, but yeah, uh, hit me in the comments here. I will probably start another discussion on LinkedIn and I link it in uh, in the in this video. And uh, yeah, um, give me some feedback on that and then we'll follow up as we've done up till now. See you later.